Welcome, welcome to Target Lock TV. My name is Simon, and with me today I have uh, Shuresh. Welcome, Shuresh, from Sydney City Space Lux. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Whatever is relevant for you, choose one. <laughs> Thank you. It's good morning to me, uh, at least. And uh, what's, what's, what's the time in Australia by now? Uh, it's half past four in the afternoon, so good afternoon is good for me. Might be a, a good night if you're in the, in the States there, or maybe even a good evening in New Zealand. Awesome. Let's see, the players are already starting, so I will start a timer. And let's see, what have we got today? We have got the fourth game being played between Sweden and Australia. We got Michael Connor on the Australian side of the board, and we got Mikael Lundberg on the Swedish side of the board. So, Suresh, shall we just get started? And would you like to read out Michael's list for us? Yeah, let's just dive straight into it as he starts moving his ships. So, left to right, we have Obi Wan Kenobi in the Eater 2 Actus with Patience, Marksmanship, Auto Blasters, and R7A7. So, a couple of options with Obi Wan. You can play him a bit cagey, use Patience heavily, keep your force up, and then if you get the chance, you're throwing down Auto Blasters with Marksmanship and R7A7 to get those crits they can't stop. Next up, we have little Anakin Skywalker in the Naboo N1 Starfighter with Intimidation, Passive Sensors, and Advanced Proton Torpedoes. I'd say he's in there for a block, but maybe not against the uh, resistance list you're about to read out to me, uh, but he's got those advanced protons for a little bit of punch there. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we've got two Delta, uh, sorry, one Delta 7B, that's Luminara with calibrated laser targeting, really for those defensive mods. And lastly, broadside ion cannon turret and ion bombs for a little bit of a control effect it'd be interesting to see in this match how that actually plays out against the uh resistance t70s here over to you simon for the resistance oh yeah this is pretty darn easy to be honest it's uh <laughs> four red squadron experts uh, equipped with r4 astromech for some uh blue maneuvers and we also have pattern analyzer and s force they are all in uh, pilot skill 3. And let's see, we have uh, Swedish Mikkel uh, got the initiative here, so he's moving first with all of his ships. Yep, just the one overlap there with the uh, BTLB Y Wing, that's broadside. Mm. Uh, you've got Luminara, Lilani, and also Obi Wan at higher, higher initiative, so they'll be moving last anyway. So let's see, we have we have uh, three gas clouds and three uh, asteroids with us today. I think, let's see who brought what. I'm gonna open up this. Now. What we've got here is just the two players circling the size of the board with Obi-Wan just hanging back on our, that's Michael's uh, side <laughs> there. Um, I'm wondering whether whether the resistance is going to want to get into these asteroids here. Now, T-70s are no slouches by any means. The uh, the dial is pretty reasonable, so he should have no problems individually navigating through the asteroids. It's whether he can get the formation as a whole uh, through there is is what we're going to have to see, because this this resistance list I suspect is most powerful when you can actually mass these shots. Yes, indeed. We saw uh, Michael, uh, a Swedish Michael. Let's let's call him that. Uh, play William Awood in the last XCC game against uh, USA and um, unfortunately he didn't go all the way but uh, he is quite skilled with these uh, T7DX wings yeah we saw Michael take the loss last week there 
uh, against the uh, double resistance, sorry, double CIS fire spray squad. Mm. This is a completely different kettle of fish. Uh, he's moving second, so he's got the got the options for the repositions with his uh, N1 and also his Delta 7B, not to mention Obi-Wan. So it's a different, completely different sort of matchup, but the the massed firepower of these T-70s is still a danger uh, to this Galactic Republic list this afternoon. So I I think it's just a little bit cagey at the moment. And I think I've seen that in, in a lot of games where players are just a little bit hesitant to just throw down and, and get there and engaging. Mm. And it seems to me like in a lot of the games, the player who who really gets the first engagement on their own terms, Simon, is going to win. Mm. Yeah, that's a good read. Um, so this is the... Sweden had a, uh, a, uh, a week off last week. So uh, we've been practicing, studying, and uh, will not take no for an answer this week. <laughs> yeah, and Australia needs to climb out of a, a, a zero-two hole here at the moment. Uh, we'll see if they can actually claw this one back. Now, at the moment, we've got two-one Sweden. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then you've also got uh, Nobby playing at the moment against uh, Johan. Uh, so this is really match five. And we'll see how we go uh, with regards to the results here. This could be do or die for Team Australia. Let's hope for uh, both players to do well. <laughs> like I always say, Simon, I, I never wish my opponent good luck. I always wish them a good game. Yeah. And... and Swedish Mike has actually flown himself across the board mm -hmm. and he's got a lot of room now to keep this is four X wings in formation. Yeah, I think that might be a good strategy to be honest. Uh, because I mean, even uh, if Anakin is nimble and movable, um, you can't really, I don't see him disengaging going out between the gas clouds. I, I actually hope he does. I, I don't know if he caught the game uh, with Ben Doyle there uh, the other day. I can't remember his opponent's name, I'm sorry, and he did get the win against Ben. Uh, but you saw a similar sort of list. You had the Galactic Republic, you know, really efficient list, lots of guns against the First Order Aces list. Yeah. And you saw the two players sort of have to circle the asteroids and and circle them until one player decided to turn in mm. and the critical thing there was the engagement wasn't really through the asteroid so i think aussie mike here might just need to slow down a bit i'm going to call him aussie mike for the rest of the stream yeah. <laughs> he might just need to slow down a bit uh, just so he, he makes sure that he's not throwing his ships piecemeal into four x-wings yeah So normally we see you uh, uh, commentating on both uh, Fearless Gundarks and also uh, Sydney City Space Lugs. So yes, can you uh, tell me a little bit about the 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 Space Lugs channel? It's new to me. Uh, so honestly, I've I've been affiliated i don't know what to call it affiliated join them they let me in i shine their shoes uh, with the space lux for about a week and a half now so um I, I move around a bit for work so i've only just come back to sydney this year but the uh, the guys in the space lugs are primarily uh, tom harper who's on the australian team yeah i i ran into him and i said hey i'm back in sydney let's let's start playing X-Wing again. And you know, the stores that we used to play at, they, they weren't really running any X-Wing. And he was really keen and we, we just showed up, we started playing, had a lot of fun. Uh, the Space Slugs and Tom and, and Cam, Jim and Abby, they're the other four people and I'm very much the junior person. <laughs> I think they set it up just in 2019 and, and Cam's in the chat there and he can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm hoping to, hoping to do some really big things really looking to focus on competitive play 
Uh, but then, of course, COVID, COVID struck. Uh, but now that I'm, I'm back in Sydney, I'm keen. They asked me if I wanted to join. I said yes. They're super keen to jump in on, on, on streaming. It's a lot of fun just being able to sit down, watch a game, no pressure, talk about what's in <laughs> front of you. As we see uh, Aussie Mike here, just start to slow himself down. Yeah. You know, he's turned his turned his ships in there towards just keeping himself towards the side of the board here, mm -hmm. away from those 4K turning T70s. And yeah, he's turned Anakin away. So he's he's really holding himself on the other side of the, the rocks. And I like that for now. Um, anyway, as, as, as Ozzy and Mike executes those maneuvers, and I'm sure we'll see a pretty cagey move for, here from Obi-Wan as well. Uh, it's been really good with, you know, guys who are local to me, playing with them on Tuesday nights at our local store because we're, we're fortunate enough that we can do that, you know, and jumping on and, and starting to stream as well mm -hmm. uh, because it's most fun I've had. And I I know it's, I think I, I think I started commentating with you. I think it was on Fearless Gundarks. Yeah. Uh, they're a Queensland squad. Mm -hmm. And Nobby, Nobby is Mr. Fearless Gundark himself. <laughs> um, so grateful to them, of course, uh, for, you know, <laughs> giving me a go on the microphone uh, because I found out that there's almost nothing I like more. Probably the only thing I like more is actually playing X-Wing myself. So <laughs> yeah. uh, the space slugs are, are pretty new when it comes to streaming, uh, but we're really looking to get some, you know, high quality content out there, primarily focusing on, on the competitive side of X-Wing. Mm -hmm. uh, and and what that means at the moment, of course, is of course the uh, the extended format, which is seems to be the popular one at the moment. Yeah, I, I should also mention that I managed uh, I added the the address to the the Space Slugs uh, Twitch channel to the uh, to the show notes. So uh, go in and check it out if you're watching this. I, I'm pretty sure you got the address, Suresh. I certainly do, and <laughs> just for all the people watching there, we do have another game coming up tonight, which will be the last game off the top of my head in uh, the Australia-Sweden matchup. So we'll see if we're playing for... If I say playing for Sheep Stations, does anybody from Sweden understand what I'm talking about? It's an expression we have in Australia. <laughs> uh, we'll see if we've got something to play for uh, by the time it gets there. That's at 9 o'clock. Uh, that's Australian Eastern time, so 2100, which would have make it about 11 o'clock in the morning over there in Europe. Uh, so a little bit more friendly than this. Hopefully you could have cracked out your iced tea by then. Now we actually see here uh, Swedish Mike. He's actually pushing himself back. He 4K'd last turn and he's pushing himself back towards little Anakin here. So hoping to catch him out and that's dangerous for Aussie Mike because the escape routes for Anakin are really limited due to his proximity to the board edge so we'll see what he can do well Mike and Mike <laughs> see who gets the better of that uh, because one of the Mikes has has a, a piece in a little bit of danger if, if little Annie can't escape I don't think his right turns are, are too great if he can't escape he might be eating some big three, four dice attacks. Uh, here we go. Using the pilot ability, rolls to the right, takes the three hard. That'll give him the evade token, focus evade. Uh, we'll see what he can do to get out of the jam. Next round, Obi-Wan's still hanging behind. I feel like Simon for Aussie Mike, he, he might need to, once, once Swedish Mike commits some of his T-70s to to an engagement, he might need to start pushing in uh, Obi-Wan in that E to 2 because he just can't afford to have so many points tied up in a ship that's hanging hanging back. No. Very true. Hey, shots fired. Shots fired. Oh. So this is uh, Luminara going into yep. red and Let's just color code these lid quickly. 
and blank blank, but with calibrated laser targeting, you've got just the one hit, should be okay. Yeah, there's a lot of blanks here. Um, uh, focus conversion saves yeah. the day. Now tell me how you think the next round might go down. Well, uh, I think that my Swedish Michael will just continue steamrolling down uh, the board edge, trying to catch little Annie. Um, let's see if he can get out of this. I don't know if he's, I don't think he can sort of face the X-Wings. Let's see if he can uh, barrel roll and maybe do a hard turn uh, to get out and get behind the the gas cloud i'm wondering actually if if swedish mike just turns right and opens up on lumi mm. i reckon that two turn on the on the red red squadron expert will actually fit around that rock or, or yeah. inside the rock i should say and you can really start you could you could delete luminara in in a round if if luminara isn't careful here yeah. and and, and, and Aussie Mike, even if he even if he jams Anakin in, and he must be tempted to, although that's a that's a high risk move, even if he jams him in, you know, an advanced proton torpedo against the T seventy X wing, yeah, it's nice, but it's not that nice against the the three shields for hull. That's true. We'll see in a second what's going down here, and. Um... This is starting to uh, getting me feeling a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty nervous, Fazi Mike. I have to say, I think he's put himself in a dilemma as to as to which way Swedish Mike's gonna gonna take this engagement. Let's see, we should also mention that we've got a simultaneous game. Yeah, maybe you did that before, but uh, Sweden and Australia uh, streamed at the same time. So um, <clears throat> I'm trying to follow along there as well. Yeah, that's uh, Nobby's Resistance, A-Wings and Poe against Johan, who's got a Malarus and a three Sinai Jameis engineer tie silences. So a bit of an is that an efficiency squad I think you're looking for there with a, the excellent chassis that the tie silencer is. No. And that one started about half an hour before we did. Uh, so they're already in the midst of the engagement. The moment like, uh, Nob is in the lead. Yep, I said if uh, Johan pops an A-wing, yeah. that could change pretty quick. <laughs> And Aussie Mike here is taking some time over his dials. We've just seen him reset a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I think really he's got the hardest choice here. He has to play against both of the both of the option that Swedish Mike has presented, either jamming the X Wings you know, three forward, four forward, and catching out Lil Annie. And it's a four forward. Yeah. There we go. So that's the answer to the question. We'll see if he maybe boosts for a block. No, I think he's going to stay there, take a focus, and then go for the 4K next turn. Ah, so he's really just, just playing along that edge of the board and, and forcing Aussie Mike to come towards him. Yeah. Because then uh, the next turn he can do 4Ks and then he can boost uh, into focus with the... Uh, the pattern analyzer. Yes. Okay, so there we have the four fours. Our Lumis, yeah, you see there, Lumi just had to do that three bank left mm. and, and change the angle there. And that's because of the threat of that two turn. It's taking a lock with no real prospect of a good shot. That's a, he should have moved broadside first. 
No, he. I think. I think he did. Oh, he did. Yeah. I just jammed him forwards. Yes, he did. Yep. Oh, straight one. Yeah. No, just just so slow. I missed it. <laughs> and he's turned away. So. And he oh, landed two on. Turners, which means he won't get his chassis ability and takes the strain. Let's just line that up. Oh, I no shots though. I think he might have gotten away with it. Yeah. And just a little two forwards there from Obi Wan. Now we'll only get a couple of shots this round. Yellow might get a shot on little Annie. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. And here we've got broadside. Iron turret's got the wrong facing, so just the primary attack. Two it's... dice and a focus, just the one should be okay. Yes. Two eights. Alrighty. So I think you I think you you you're pretty much spot on there. The uh, 4K must be nailed on next round. Yeah. Question is that if he will do the boost or if he will just happy to stay. Yeah, and focus. Yeah. I think I think. I like. Yep. I think so. I like the idea of the boost left. Yeah. 4K boost left. Might be able to catch the broadside, but and oh yeah, and uh, Anakin is gonna go over yeah. that uh, gas cloud again. I think he can roll left off it if he oh, really yeah. wants to. True, that's true. Hey, Aussie, Aussie Mike's got another dilemma here, and I and I really think that the the play here from from Swedish Mike. Not the most uh, intricate play in the world, I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, but he, he's just brute forcing this at the moment. Yeah. And and something's got to give eventually. At, at the moment, Swedish, can... Swedish Mike yep. is controlling the, the movements um, yes. of Aussie Mike just by brute force. Yeah, he, 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 by, and that I mean Aussie Mike, because I'm not biased at all. No. Nope. <laughs> um, uh, he, he needs something here that's, that's <clears throat> going to break up the, the X Wing formation. It's okay to be and biased I, on this stream, though. Uh, that's why I brought a, <laughs> that's why I brought an Aussie to commentate with me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> And I, I, got, down. I, I got a stake in this game. <laughs> That's true, and I understand you're, you are the Swedish team captain. Indeed. So how did you how did you feel about the, this this matchup and and some of the other ones coming into the round? Oh, it's it's so hard predicting matchups, but um, I think we got a pretty even uh, field for this round. Um, I think the first game was the game we had at le the least amount of sort of uh, predictions that would go right. But um, I, I think it, I, I think it's going to be pretty even in the rest of the games. Right taken the focus so that you predicted the 4k that one was nailed on but he's taken the focus and oh wait no talon roll hey so he's
Yep. Ah, oh, he's turned away again. Ugh. Yes. I think you got to spin your arc there, broadside, and and maybe maybe start to use that ion cannon. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the piece you have to to really start influencing the X wings here. If you ion one of them, mm. you'll, you'll actually start to just cut Bre down their options. <laughs> Breaking up the formation, basically. Yeah, exactly. And here we go. Let's see. What? Oh, I just ah yeah, he didn't roll left, so he's gonna take the gonna take the effect of the gas cloud again and takes the strain he will get to use the chassis ability though yeah and he's, i wonder if he's got no shots coming in yeah and i think i like this from anakin i this is good if that barrel roll to the right fits i like the idea here for from the aussie point of view at least of getting Anakin maybe in behind the the T-70s. Yeah, there we go. Because it gives you two options now, although one of them's pretty average. I don't think you'll be jamming <laughs> jamming uh, Obi-Wan into the middle there. But you'll at least get a shot. It won't be very good. Did use patience, got... no. Nope. Didn't use patience, got two dice, the only one hit. Ooh, spends the focus. And coming up, no, nothing for little Annie. Does broadside get that iron cannon off? That's the critical one, as you said. Mm-hmm. Either, ooh, wait, Luminara's got a, a range three cheeky shot. Yeah. That means she's getting one back. Indeed, hit crit. I hit crit. Had to spend the focus, remember? Ooh. Takes two. That's a little bit cheeky, I have to say. There we go. Uh, of course, before that happens, we'll get some shots into broadside. There we go. Three hits. Would be dangerous. Yep. Broadside rotated their arc, so they'll take two. Nothing yeah. doing there for green. Second shot. Spends focus for two. Yep. Takes one. And another one. Shields down. Shields down. Shields down. And lastly, see if this uh, Red Squadron expert, <clears throat> the purple <throat> one, can actually do some damage. Revenge shot. Unmodified. Two hits. Not bad, not bad. Of course, Luminara says, thanks for coming, it's only one hit. And rolls exactly what you need. And here we go, here's Broadside. What have you got, Broadside? Two unobstructed shots. Uh, I think just the one there, actually, because the cannon turret is just range two. Oh, really that's up true. Head. So. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, look out. This is dangerous. Needs natties, otherwise you're ioned. Nope. There we go. go 
takes one and an iron. Now, my question to you. Yeah. Swedish Mike, does he keep his ships in formation or will he break them up now and, and, and be forced to break them up, I should say? And the turn in seems a little bit attractive, but of course that Red Squadron expert at the front needs to move straight. What do you think he's doing? I think he's going to do one forward with all of the, the ships. Okay. He's stressed, and... He's got those R4s though, so that opens up the two range. Yeah, that's true. Very true. And I mean, um, yep. Obi-Wan is coming in. I'm not sure if he needs to... If he goes quick, at least, he can go past the asteroid. Yeah. I think Obi Wan is banking, right? Yeah. Like, like I think he wants to push Aussie Mike. This is wants to push Obi Wan in between the two gas clouds, mm. and actually get himself in behind. Well, until they K turn, of course, but <laughs> in behind some of these X wings and start to use, you know, auto blaster R seven marksmanship uh, to put some real real damage into these guys. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe. What I would have done could maybe three straight with yellow, green, and red, and just park in front of the blue. Yeah. yeah. To sort of hold the game and, and open up that arc a little bit. Uh, Although I suspect Luminara is going to turn in, get, get some cover behind that rock that rock yeah the problem is of course with that is you don't want to hang broadside out to dry which is the danger here for aussie mike so i feel like mm. anakin is turning around he could go left or right depending on which way he thinks he can get into the fight the fastest i like the bank to the right from obi-wan Broadside can one forward to victory and, and Luminara wants to turn in and get cover from the rock. That's what I feel like Michael's doing. But then again, he's he, he's the one who has a ticket to the event and I don't. So I'm just talking. So, <laughs> so we'll see how we go. We've got Andreas Colson commentating in the chat that it looks like Nobby might be taking the, that, that other game being played right now. Yeah, Nobby is up uh, for those who don't have uh, is that Nickel City yep. uh, in the, in their second window. <laughs> One of the other advantages of this, it's kind of like watching watching Sunday game day or something like that, or your sport of choice <laughs> on your TV with all the games going at once. Loving it. I'm not a big fan of sports, but this this kind of sports I'm okay with. Oh, but the Euro leagues are on. I'm Australian and I'm following the Euro Leagues. <laughs> I, I'm assuming you are talking about football. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Aussie Mike there still yet to set a couple of dials, so still has to think about some of these moves. Well, well, Simon, you and I think we we know what the players are doing, of course. <clears throat> and, and the theme of the game, I think, for Aussie Mike is he's really had to play play around. You know, multiple options here from Swedish Mike with regards to where where can send these X wings, especially with that very versatile combination of R4 and pattern analyzer that he's gone with. Yeah. But we do have one iron ship as well. Yep, that's okay. Yeah. Like you said, like one forward is a completely legitimate move yeah. that Luminara does not like. <laughs> And dials it down. Okay, it might be sizing up. 
whichever controls you've got on these Eater 2s, intuitive controls, thank you. Just for maybe a roll to the right, I don't think he sticks it, so hopefully he hasn't banked on that one. Here's the system phase, and you've also got those ion bombs on broadside, remember? Yeah. Now, you and I don't think you'll want to use them, based on where we think these ships are going. But maybe but, it drops one for insurance. Yeah, they're, they are there, at least. Uh, no, he's unset broadside's dial. Nope, there it goes. And he's unset Lumi's dial. <laughs> The suspense is killing me. Oh man. Here we go again. Take three. Yeah, we've got 40 minutes left of this game. We've got 26 people watching us live. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Yeah, and um, if you like the what we're doing here, hit us uh, with a thumbs up and go and check out the uh, Sydney City Space Slugs uh, Twitch channel as well. Here we go. We got movement. He's starting with the ionized chip here. Yep, and no bomb. Nope. Next to focus. Yep. And let's see if the rest of the squad follows suit. What have you got? What have you got? There it is, one forwards. Okay, yeah. so that's that's really shown the hand here. This is opportunity for Aussie Mike now that not not quite committed but has really has really put himself in where next round uh, Swedish Mike that big asteroid there at the top of your screen mm -hmm. that's coming into play quite heavily with not not this round necessarily but the next one. Oh, here we go he's actually broken up the formation a little bit he's turned in that green red expert yeah. to maybe cover the flank there against Obi-Wan Ooh. Ooh. You don't Straight want to stay there. That's... Uh, oh, that's danger, Will Robinson. So uses the chassis ability there. Only a two bank. So no chassis ability for a free evade. Won't need it, won't get shot. Takes an evade? No, it takes a focus. Uh, ooh. Ooh, interesting. And, oh, a turn right, okay. Same, same. Still, oh, he boosts out, so he... The green boost. will get a shot. Green will, and that... Uh, Unobstructed. Probably is obstructed. Now, oh, that's true. Now, remember the the one that's taking damage here is blue. Yeah. So shooting at some fresh T70s here. Sneaks into range one, I think. Yes, he does against green. <laughs> Will he spend? Yeah, he's. Oh, that's oh, aggressive. He does. Oh, he's very aggressive. Will and uh, I think you take the the shield here? Uh, he has to. He, he bumped there, so he doesn't actually have oh, a token. Oh yeah, he's going for green. Yeah. There we go. And that's obstructed. I actually like. Uh, let's see who, he, who who did he ping there? Because I like broadside. I like the idea that you burn down broadside. Let's see if it matters. Because <laughs> there are five dice, three evades. Yep. 
And he'll flip one more. Yeah. Yeah, I think broadside was the better shot. You'll burn him down. Oh, Lumi sneaks out of, of red there. So, range three, through the rock, two hits. Oh, three minutes. Oh, disrespects <laughs> the red squadron expert. <laughs> And range one into Lumi. Two hits. Yeah, a bit subpar, so just, just two there by spending the token. Ooh. Oh, and just the one. So that's one picture, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Drop the focus. You didn't spend the focus? Yeah, you spend the focus. Excellent. And you'll take take your one shield that you've got. It's not the Delta 7B chassis, it's just the base model. And let's see if we have another ion situation here with broadside. Good to go just waiting on the clock let's kick this one off again thank you very much again for sticking around with us yeah. let's see what happens with this pretty critical iron cannon shot here from broadside both players here have the focus so broadside will actually get to pop his ability and and be able to change that result there. Mm -hmm. That's great for him. And he can actually control some of this off the board. or well, not off the board, I should say, but but just, just to exert control on, on this Red Squadron Expert and, and just use that Iron Cannon to good effect without being able, without the, uh, firstly, the Red Squadron Expert able to chase effectively, and secondly, possibly hindering the rest of the squad if they just want to try and nail broadside. Yeah. And ready to go. They're just waiting on the clock there, Simon. Yeah. Let's see. I managed to reset the clock there. I'm and here gonna... we go. Clock's running and we're good to go. Here comes that critical broadside shot. There we go. Okay. Back on. Okay, uh, they're waiting for 34 minutes, 37 seconds, which is when I think that they they understood the game. Yeah, that's another 10 seconds. Cut it. And that's just about to tick over now. Who do you think has got the upper hand at the moment, or do you still think we've all got all to play for? I think we still have all to play for, to be honest. But this uh, spent focus for two hits with Ion Cannon. Oh, he's got two pictures. He's got yep. the focus. He he dodges that bullet. Yes. I, we got here he, with Mr. C in the chat. When is game seven? That's tonight. Australian time. Yeah, and it's one o'clock uh, Swedish Central European time. I'm not sure if it's... It, do you know if uh, the Space Lugs will uh, stream that last game? I'm tracking, yes. So yes. we should have a Cam and Jim on tonight. Ah, oh, cool. And that would be um, Andreas Carlsson, uh, playing for Sweden. And off the top of my head, it's, it's the Harp Daddy himself, Tom Harper, the most handsome mm. man in X-Wing. Now, 
I'm going to be very disappointed if I don't see some some aggression here, even if it's yeah. con controlled aggression. <laughs> but I really just want to see something here from Anakin. and he needs to get himself in the fight. He's the biggest piece in the list, and he just needs to is built for, to to deal damage with that auto blaster combo. He he needs to get it. He needs to get it dealing damage. Yeah, and I think we will see yeah a broadside chase here from Swedish Michael. Uh, broadside doesn't really have any anywhere to go. It's a, a an open space. Yep. Um. Maybe a maybe a, a left turn and a, and spin the arc. But you're spinning the arc. You're not getting your mod, and and the chasing T70s will get their mods. Yeah, that's a losing proposition for broadside. Although you may be able to bring your iron bombs into play if you survive the entire round. And that's a big if with a one die ship that's already taken three damage. Yeah. And I think we'll see a two bank or a two turn from blue. Two turn, I like. Yeah. And a oh. three bank from yellow. Blue, I think three turn, actually. Yeah. Two, two doesn't look great. Three. No. And they're ready to go. Nope, he's unset a dial, that was green. Set it again. Let's look at the system phase. You might see a uh, iron bomb here, trying to catch green. Uh, I think it's a bit, a bit far away for an iron bomb, but we'll see. Yeah. Although like the a two bank or maybe even a three bank from green, I think fits and that's yeah where the iron bomb comes into play. I think, Actually, I think you're right there, Simon, because that also drags green away from Obi-Wan. Yeah. There we go. And we got a confirmation here that space slugs are streaming the Lost Game. Yeah, like I said, should be Cam and Jim on tonight, so it should be a good match to have a listen to if you can spare the time would would love to have you around with us while we stream game seven. And for those neutrals out there, hopefully it's live. It's a live match with everything to play for. Yeah. Oh, it's a K. I was trying to catch Lumi. I, th I think I. I... Ooh. He's While going he's split up here. Yeah, yeah, he's going for half points on broadside and going. Oh, that's on the rock. That's on the rock. Oh, that's not good. That's. You know, if, uh... Even though he might not take shots this turn, I don't know. But yeah, can uh... he pattern analyze and boost off the rock? Yeah, he could. But will he? remember it oh come on simon you gotta back your team yeah i know i'm just <laughs> fighting my nails here back your team here boost off the rock point yourself at lumi <laughs> takes the oh, damage takes the damage too come on what do you got what do you got Because he's, he's fully executed the maneuver. Yeah. You can do this. No. Oh, he's pinged the table. Uh, <sighs> we will have a post game talk. <laughs> How's your hair dry? Is that a is that a phrase you're familiar with? Uh, I watch too much football, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not familiar with that phrase. <laughs> it's where the the manager gets the team in at half time and just yells at them. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of English football, so Sir Alex Ferguson's hair dryer was quite infamous. Yeah, Lumi is trying to skirt around here. Doesn't want to present her own broadside to those T70s. 
and yeah, and green will take. Oh, a town roll. Oh, oh, I, 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 I don't know how you feel about that, Simon, but I think you know how I feel about that. Yeah. I think we got some people joining us from uh, the the other game uh, at the moment. So welcome everyone who's just popping in. We got. Uh, Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Two two now in the uh, Sweden Australia matchup. So lots and lots to play for. This Here's is a gunshot. Yeah, and it's range two as well. Yep, he is auto blasting. No arc. So. Uh, he's going to drop one of his R7A7s to get himself a crit, which. So that's the last shield on green. Yeah, it's another shield. Oh, wait. Ooh. Just before. Nothing with the bomb. That was That's okay. Uh, that Very was close. important. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Range one uh, into range broadside. One. Uh, looking for big damage here. You think he's? But, uh, I think. Yeah. I think he might be willing to take an iron at this time. Uh, spending the. the f yeah, you spend the focus. Yes. Now. So. Uh, four down hits. to one. Yeah. The problem is, if you get ion here, I reckon you'll be ion until you leave the board. Yeah. Because if you get ion here, you're going to walk yourself into another ion bomb, <laughs> <laughs> um, and and surely broadside is is maybe turning turning to the right. Uh, get out of those arcs and, and just keep ironing, and you'll actually lose you'll actually lose a, a joust against a Y wing. <laughs> um, and that red squadron expert might have might have a hair drive their own to answer to when they get back after this match. Oh, yep. And he's gonna spend that. He'll guarantee it. Yeah. And he's that's a lot of damage as well. No, uh, it's one damage. It's but... Just ten tokens. Go. So that's half points on blue, half points on broadside. Leaves Michael, Aussie Michael, in the lead by three points. Yeah, just a few. And the critical thing here is that the formation is is split. Yes. Uh, green Green has the option to turn in to the right and and maintain that. Maintain that chase on Luminari if, if uh, Swedish Mike wants to. But the formation is now split, and it'll be interesting to see how Broadside plays. See if he can actually get around, get around uh, the one forward here that the Red Red Squadron expert needs to mm -hmm. do. Drop another bomb. That's another ion, and you can just keep keep shepherding them off with the ions until they're <laughs> until that that red red squadron expert sorry that blue red squadron expert try saying that 10 times fast yeah. <laughs> is is, um, is, is either dead or or just completely out of the fight now Anakin Skywalker has been totally absent in this game yeah except for the the last crit no no, Anakin, yeah, no. Anakin, um, yeah, well. total absent. Obi-Wan hasn't done too much either, although he is mostly that endgame piece. 
that said, with 23 minutes left, we are coming to, if not the board state end game, the time end game. Yes. And you, and, and, and Aussie Mike needs Obi-Wan to start dealing some damage and facing that gas cloud. He probably doesn't have too many great options. Although he's got he's got his intuitive control, so I, I, I my let's say I sense the barrel. I'm mixing up my metaphors here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so dials are down. Hmm. I'm nervous now. And do you drop the last iron bomb here? I think you do. Yeah. I think you make sure of it. Fearless Gundarks roots for Michael in the chat. Thanks, Nobby. Uh, good to see you got up there because I'm not partisan at all. <laughs> Congratulations, Nobby. Well played. Still going in with a straight, so just keeping himself into the in that channel there on the side of the board. And hello, Richard from Team Island. Great to have you along with us. Welcome. Do you like Swedish Mike keeping himself in the channel there? I'm not sure what he's playing at here, to be honest. Yeah, I just don't yeah. think he'll have a target. Yes, the stress. Although, what we've noticed here is that Obi Wan did not use his intuitive controls. Yeah. Nor did, for that matter, broadside drop an iron bomb. So his eye is going to try and nail Ooh. broadside. Okay. This might not be that bad. I mean, broadside, broadside has what? One hull left. One hull left. And now you need to do broadside first. You're on initiative three broadside. And running away there with Lumi. And here's the big turn in from little Annie. Ooh. Oh, he's bot. Ah. There's the two turn. I oh that's close. I think he's still in I think he's still in arc. So Obi-Wan needs to look for some kind of initiative kill here. Took the strain. Gonna go range two there with an auto blaster. Yeah. Two dice only. He's gonna flip Thinking. and crit with R seven A seven. Roll doesn't matter. That's oh, a fuel leak. Yeah. So this puts that red squadron expert in a trade here with broadside. No, it doesn't. He's got two hull left. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Damage. Oh yeah, the red squadron yeah. expert. Yeah. Yeah. Missed the trick by not dropping that bomb. There we go. That's a dead broadside. Yeah, definitely missed the trick by not dropping that bomb. But broadside will have one simultaneous fire shot. Yeah, I think you actually shoot it. Green. Green. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a weapons failure. I oh. got the weapons failure there for the, the crit. That's oh. actually makes uh. difference. Dead. 
I think I think that's a massive error to not drop that bomb. It's huge. Ah. Uh, uh, it's going for that range one shot. Yeah, I, I have to say uh, I'm, I'm not keen. We'll guarantee the ion though with the pilot ability yeah. and the focused result. So it takes one damage and one iron. Will live. That means that he will draw at least one more attack uh, from. Uh, yes, and, and that's where the bomb would have finished him off. And of course, then again, the, the o yep. Obi would have run run into that bomb as well. I guess. I oh, know. Remember, he was. The bomb actually would have been, oh yeah, close, yeah. but <sighs> now the game has swung towards Swedish Mike. At the moment, <laughs> we we got twenty five points uh, lo loaded in that blue. Uh... Yeah, we're behind one hull. Yes. Yeah. We got Nils Tillander saying "What's up" in the chat. It's quite good. What's I got up, my Nils? coffee. <laughs> oh, we got six, sixteen minutes left. Yeah. The problem is for Obi Wan, of course, is that Red's got a really good option to just turn in there on on Obi Wan. Obi Wan does not want to see those four dice. Nope. And Minara is so, facing the wrong way. Yeah. Do you think Anakin will go in between the gas clouds, or I don't think he will f sort of face the two X wings on the outside? I don't want to adjust T seventy. No. But then don't again, I... then again, there's the play if <laughs> if uh, Swedish Michael is turning in. Uh, in between the rock and the gas cloud there. Yeah, but like a, a bank there from, from Anakin, he gives him options. Or even you see what the X-Wings do. Uh, uh, will your pilot ability help you? Oh, it's hard to say. Uh, just with the geometry of those two yes. gas clouds <laughs> and, and where Lumi might end up with these X-Wings, you might have the option to just change the angle there with your pilot ability with Anakin to take that barrel roll. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see what we've got. Okay, he's reaching for his dials. He thinks they're set. Okay, and what, what happened there? Uh, that's the uh, intuitive controls. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, Draconarius, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Yep, ion only, no damage. Thank you for that clarification. Makes me feel a little bit better about the play, although not not so good that I got it wrong, but that's okay. And here we go. There's the the ion move from the Red Squadron expert. I, I like the intuitive controls there. Just cutting it, cutting down the angle uh, for Green Red Squadron expert uh, to try and turn in on Obi Wan. So I think that suits the Eater two quite fine. Oh, there's a. Just a bank. I think we might see a 4K again from green here. I will see what we've got. What have you got green? Oh, just a one bank. <gasps> okay, there might be a block. Yeah.
Now let's see what Mr. Skywalker has done. Nope, nope. On boost, okay. So the problem here for, for Aussie Mike is that is that he hasn't really managed to to give himself a, a really good engagement. He's got bits and pieces there. He traded shots with Broadside. Yeah, that's fine. Now Broadside's gone and you're still in arc. Uh, there, little Annie, just watch out. Um, Unobstructed. Yeah, range one as well. Oh, there's no, there's no arc on blue. Oh, and nothing for your pilot ability. And 4K is red, so... Green can take a few more hits. Unless they're crits. Yeah, that's true. Oh, here we go. Double crits. Uh, he's dropping the last charge there on R7A7 for crit crit. There's no point uh, of saving them. Yep. That's actually half green. Yep. That's good, but console fire as well. Yep. What was the second crit? Did you see that? Ah, uh, the first one was on the shields. Okay. And little Annie will go here at range three. And now green is tokenless. With the boost around there, so... Changing target it to blue. Oh, he's going to try and pop blue off. No, nope. changing back ah. to green. Changing back. <gasps> One. Oh, we'll take oh, it. Oh, blanked survives. out. Well, Gorilla blanking out that focus. Oh, it's that's Ben Doyle in the chat there. G'day, Ben. <laughs> And here come the Red Squadron Experts. Oh, he sneaks into range two. That's big. It's pretty big because with only 10 minutes left, we may just be ending the game in one of those weird situations where, you know, one player is desperately hoping it the dials down, the other player is desperately hoping they don't. <laughs> and we'll use the free evade token there to avoid that shot from red. Nothing doing for yellow. Oh, is that... That's an yeah, Go to Mary Tree. Don't forget your console. No. There you go. Save that. Let's see if the players remember the console fire. And the force. Somebody's just pointed at it. There we go. Yeah. Nothing. Now, Annie got out of jail there. <laughs> and more importantly, though, he'll have to think about how he approaches the next turn yeah. with those two red squadrons on his starboard side, the right side of Annie, uh, primed to turn in. My, re my, my blah, 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 may run over the gas cloud, but with the option there for, you know, three, four dice shots or three or four dice shots, I should say, uh, could be dangerous. Andreas in the chat says three forward from Anakin. Just don't make sure you don't get blocked because 
you've been carrying around an advanced proton torpedo for something like 67 minutes, my friend. <laughs> something you want to use, little Annie. <laughs> yeah. I w think we will see... Yeah. Uh, I think... Oh. I'm nervous now. I think we will see a turnaround from blue. Not sure it will be a cater. It might be... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good option. Um, I think you'll see the, the turn right there from both red and yellow. Yeah. And I like the idea of, of green coming in to block Annie. Uh, as, as was mentioned there, Andreas, yeah, three forwards. It is the, the pretty obvious move, but if green can somehow block that, uh, it'll leave red and yellow in there to get some, some good shots against, you know, the ship with no action and no free evade token if, if he couldn't actually stick his move. So that's what I like from, from Aussie Mike. I think Lumi's might going to try and come in and, and just finally nail re uh, not red, that's blue. Obi Wan um, might try and trail green here, finish him off, look for some more points. And little Annie has two options. He can run if he really wants to. You know, barrel roll to the left and, and turn left even. Or just go all out for maybe blue. Uh, try an initiative kill blue, uh, but I just don't like don't like what you're looking at there with two full health T70s that are ready to chase you. The the red and yellow probably would would be without any focus talks. This or oh, yeah. I was a set, and with six minutes to go, this could be the last round, Simon. Yeah. So, here we go. Now, Obi Wan stress, so nothing in the system phase for you. Oh, he's 4K'd. <gasps> ah. Okay, so he's opening up the. The, the turn for yellow, maybe? So yellow wouldn't have bumped, under bumped red? I Getting still a, think like you could... Uh, uh, Simon, I don't like it. I don't know if you do, but I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's a Talon! Oh, and I don't like it either. What do you think he was thinking there? I don't know. Let's see. Taking the focus. And I'll take, take the strain as well. Yeah. I, I, I just think that it... Now that just cuts down your options there for for green to play for the block because you're going to block him, block him into nothing. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I um. Oh, he's going. He's going okay. for for shots on uh, Obi. Yeah. This is a hail mary. Oh yeah. This is the move up. And yeah, he's looking for and a boost. Uh, yeah, uh, yep, no, focus. And Ooh. oh he's bumped. Straight one. Oh, it's massive. Because I think I'm Red's not got a shot there now. Unobstructed. The loom is going for green. Yeah, going for the initiative kill. Oh, and there's the straight two that Ben Doyle called in the chat. Clears the reds, takes an evade, 
lined up in the bullseye. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, green is gone, but green has done what it's supposed to do this turn. I just don't think there's another round there, Simon. No, I think that was the table clock. Let's go in and yeah. see. Somebody's just paused it. No. Like, it's just not updating for me. Ah, uh, I call here for Obi Wan. Why did they pause the timer? Only get the one. F Let's see. I'm going to pause shot. the. Maybe coming back. Yep. See, we got something in the chat. I just had the. Uh, just had Swedish Mike there. Just drop out. Ah. Uh. There we go, promote. Here we go. Johan says, Swedish Mike probably trying to catch Obi, looking for those fast points and he needs them with only three minutes left in the round. Yeah. There we go. Back on time. Ooh. And get the one. Gets the evade. He survives unless it's a double hit. That's a hull breach. That's empty with one hull left. <laughs> Now, but you got Lumi oh. here at range one. With target lock. Ooh. Oh. Spend that lock. Oh, he's oh, dead. Yes. Nailed him. <laughs> that said though, with like these these K turns and talon rolls by by red and yellow make more sense. Yeah. You don't have great shots against Obi-Wan, but you've got shots against Obi-Wan, and that's exactly what you need right now. Because you just you just need to score some points and you can actually he You needs, could actually still win this game. He needs to kill him. And half Obi-Wan gives him 29 points and he needs 32. Right, so needs to kill Obi-Wan. Three plays, four, Spence. oh, it's three hits. It's a good start. Ooh. Oh, he's got the force. He's got the force. Yeah. And this one... Obstructed. Oh, sneaks into the obstruction. Hit and a crit. Just two. Looking for paint. Yeah, he's got it. That's enough. I think there's going to be another round. Another round. Yeah, the overlay clock is not following the table clock exactly. So let's see if, how it plays out. If, if Swedish Mike can chuck these dice, he'll get another round. No. That's only one hit. And little Annie has the force there yes Whew. all right for those Swedish players out there say back to dials <laughs> there we go this is the last round 35 seconds on the clock he got his dials flip back over is there a path to victory let's see He needs to have, have any two of uh, Ozzy Michael's ships or kill one of them. 
Okay, and remember... Without losing uh, the blue. Condition. Yeah. There we go, that's the table time. But they've already gone back to dial, so so this is it. Lumi's taken a shield. And your your other problem here though, Simon, is that your blue red squadron expert, he's on one. Yeah. And and the initiative kill will be the problem. Indeed. And I feel like all I want to see now is an advanced proton torpedo. <laughs> Going out with a bang. Uh, but winning. Like you pay <laughs> big five dice attacks for a reason. You pay you pay a premium for those five dice attacks for a reason. Yeah. So you want to use them. Alrighty, Dials, I oh, know, still thinking, and don't forget, Simon, as I recall, just correct me if I'm wrong, we've got the next game starting pretty much straight after this one. Yes, we will just reset the table. We will have uh, Cam on as a guest, hopefully. And, and also... yet another Michael. Yes. That's uh, Michael Turner flying the uh, Separatist fire sprays. Indeed, Django, Sam, and Archie, who, Swedish Archie, who is, who is facing, is flying uh, Empire Aces. Here we go. Oh, that'll be a really interesting matchup. Yeah, It'll be really interesting. Still thinking about yellow. The yellow's in a bit of a spot because the I think the turn might get yellow blocked into the asteroid. Yes. It's just really, really awkward. Let's see if he remembers that he can use the pattern analyzer to get away from there. And let's see. Here we go, he's ping the table. This is it, this is what we've been waiting for. Intuitive controls for a roll there. And it's all Swedish bike, so a lazy one bank right. <laughs> Getting ready for those five attack dice. Ooh. Oh, he sticks it. Oh, wow. Oh, I Ah, oh, that's, that's some precision flying there. And, and that, that just opens up those arcs for possibly a game-winning shot. Well, it ain't over until it's over, but... Look, it's not a... it's a low percentage i think i think we agree that it's low percentage for sweden to pull out the win on this one but that two that two turn i think is just up up the up the numbers a little bit yeah <laughs> oh that's a juicy position for luminara yes indeed and, and yeah there's the boost so looking to really looking for that initiative kill Speaking of which, I don't know if I like this from from Aussie Mike. I oh, know he's rolled out, so yeah. he's got some room. Even then. There's your pilot ability. And you've got a straight three. That proton torpedo will be staying in the tubes, I think. <laughs> uh, 
Everything Ooh. I'm blue. Yep, and that's the bullseye as well. So just needs paint. Although he's got no force. And it'll just have a focus. Ben Doyle said, run fast, run far. He did neither of the two. <laughs> And marksmanship will, will seal that deal. Yeah. But is he... Yeah. It's it's only auto damage if it's out of arc, is it? Uh, oh, actually, you, right, you are. Yeah. So it does get to roll. Does not seal the deal. Oh, there's one in the box. Other one doesn't even matter. Oh, it's the first shot you survived. There yeah. we go, Natty's. <laughs> you could have saved the, the other evade for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Luminara, sorry, Little Annie, range two. Two. Let's see if he can do the double paint. No. No. Blue is gone. Okay. Ooh. What does that do to the equation? Does that mean he needs to nail Anakin now? Yeah, let's see. He needs 56 points. He can take out Obi-Wan. Uh, Obi he needs to take out Obi-Wan. That's the win condition here. Okay. Somebody will tell me what that percentage is. <laughs> um, but he's got six red dice. And Obi-Wan will probably have eight green dice. And we need three net hits. I think he's just counting them up here. Yeah, so right, he got the right chip. And you've got the one now red is unmodded yellow just has the focus and let's see if luminara was in arc ah uh, yes uh, so range zero to two yep so just the one hit their net after luminara's uh, ability and the one evade yeah And perfect roll wins this game. And that's not it. It's no. a good game. Good game. Thank you very much, both players, both Michaels. And thank you, Shuresh. Uh, we are a little bit behind schedule here. So uh, I will try to reset the table as quick as possible. And uh, we will be back with you in just a couple of minutes. So hang, hang on there. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much, Suresh, for, for hanging out with us today. And do you have anything you would like to say? Yo, oh, congratulations. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> firstly, <laughs> congratulations to both Michaels on an excellent game for us. Very, very close. I think we just saw just saw the ace play at the end there for Aussie Mike. Indeed. Come, come into play at the end. Simon, thank you very, very much for having me on your channel. I had a blast watching this game. Um, <laughs> looking forward to the next game. I'll just have that in the background while I have yeah. dinner with my family. <laughs> and of course, you've got Cameron from the Sydney City Space Slugs jumping on to replace me. And don't forget game seven in the Australia-Sweden matchup on Sydney City Space Slugs, plug, plug, uh, at, uh, what's that, uh, 1100 UTC. Yeah. Indeed, we will. We will. It will be. Uh, it will. Yeah. I'll see you there. <laughs> so thank, thank you very much. Speak to you soon. Thank you.